In the summer of 1936, the German Henschel Company began designing a high-speed reconnaissance aircraft, or high-speed light bomber. The Gunther brothers were responsible for the main design work, aiming to break through the speed limit and give the aircraft more powerful performance. This aircraft was the He-119. The He-119 had obvious German characteristics, with a fully metal structure and a sleek, elongated body. It had a low monoplane with a gull-wing design, and in order to achieve high cruising speeds and minimize drag, the aircraft didn't even have a protruding cockpit. To reduce drag, the designers did not install the engine compartment on the wings, but instead installed the engines inside the body. It was driven by a pair of four-blade metal propellers with a diameter of 4.3 meters, but Germany did not have a suitable engine to drive this large aircraft to the expected high speeds. As a result, two Daimler-Benz DB601 engines were used, installed side by side. This combination of engines was called the DB606, capable of producing 2,350 horsepower. The engines were located behind the cockpit, with their power combined and driving the propellers through an extended drive shaft that passed through the cockpit. The engines had two cooling systems, initially using a surface evaporation cooling device. The hot steam was pumped under the wings, where it was cooled and condensed into liquid before being pumped back to the engine for cooling. However, testing proved that this system was not efficient enough, so an additional radiator was added below the fuselage. The cockpit transitioned smoothly with the body surface and was equipped with a large area of transparent windows. Behind the engine compartment was another chamber that housed the radio operator and the equipment he needed, as well as reconnaissance photography equipment. There was also another chamber in the belly of the aircraft, where a large camera could be installed and modified to carry 1,000 kilograms of bombs. The landing gear was a rear three-point style, and given the aircraft's need for a higher ground clearance and the characteristics of the gull wing, a conventional landing gear could not meet the height and installation requirements. The main landing gear of the He-119 was retractable and adjustable in length, folding inward towards the wings. The first prototype flew in June 1937, reaching a maximum speed of 565 kilometers per hour. Subsequent test speeds approached 600 kilometers per hour, although an engine failure caused a crash. The designer's idea of improving survival capability through increased speed seemed feasible, but the German military insisted on equipping the aircraft with defensive weapons on the back and belly. A total of eight He-119 aircraft were built, numbered from V-1 to V-8. The V-3 model was modified to have a float landing gear and became a seaplane. Although the floats increased flight resistance, its maximum speed still reached 570 kilometers, with a maximum range of 2,430 kilometers. In 1938, the Japanese Navy representatives showed high interest in the He-119, and in 1940, they purchased production licenses and two aircraft, V-7 and V-8, which were disassembled, packaged, and shipped to Japan. Japan assembled and tested them, which had a certain influence on their aviation development. The He-119 was not a regular German military aircraft, but rather a private project of the Henschel Company. This had some impact on its subsequent service. Besides test flights, Germany used some of the aircraft as engine test platforms rather than deploying them in combat. In fact, during the rapidly developing technology of World War II, the he 119 speed advantage quickly disappeared, with only its maximum range of over 3,000 kilometers remaining somewhat attractive. The he 119 high-speed reconnaissance bomber had a total weight of about 7.6 tons, a length of 14.79 meters, a height of 5.4 meters, a wingspan of 15.89 meters, a maximum speed of approximately 590 kilometers per hour, a maximum altitude of 8,500 meters, and a maximum range of approximately 3,100 kilometers. 